I bought an LS and a T56. Okay, so from the last video, I noticed that my garage is super fucking loud. Um, my Our house AC is loud, and I have the AC going on in the garage, so that's pretty loud. So I'm getting really mad when I film audio or film videos in here, and the audio is kind of messed up. But um, I feel like I owe you guys this video, and I'm excited to make it. Let's we'll talk about my LS motor. Uh, I picked up a 5.3 LS iron block uh, motor out of a 2001 Tahoe Z71. And I believe it's a 5.3. The 5.3s and the 4.8s came like, identical on the outside. Uh, they're basically the same looking motor. You can't tell the difference until you open them up and see the pistons. The 5.3s have like uh, grooves in the pistons and the 4.8s are just flat top pistons. So when I pull off the head, I'll be able to know for sure if it's a 5.3, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I also got the full wiring out of the truck. I got all the truck accessories. I got the ECU for the motor, everything. The whole, the whole thing for $550, which is dirt cheap. That's very cheap for an OS. Pretty happy with it, it's a pretty good price. Um, I wanted, yeah, it's on an LS1. I know aluminum blocks are better. I know it's a 5.7, I know they're lighter, but they're also way more expensive. Like LS1s in Orlando go for like $2,000. And like, if you get them cheaper, they go like super fast. So they're kind of hard to come by. That's why I want the 5.3 and it's more reliable. And if I do turbo it or run a bunch of nitrous, it's not gonna blow up as quick as an uh, aluminum block would be. So I'm excited. I wanted to build an LS forever. An LS is definitely my favorite motor. I love them. There's awesome power. They make awesome power. That motor makes stock, like 300 horsepower, like bone stock, like no bolt-ons, no exhaust, nothing. So um, I also picked up a T56 transmission. I got that today. I've had the LS, I've had the motor for a couple days now. Uh, the T56 I got for a killer deal, like super, super good deal. T56s are more expensive than the motor, like way more expensive. All the T56s on Craigslist in Orlando are a minimum $2,000 or $1,500. They're incredibly expensive. And I paid nothing for the LS, I mean for the T56. Like I'm talking like under $500, like really, really cheap for a six speed T56 transmission. Um, that's the transmission in all the LS1 Camaros and LT1 Camaros and Corvettes. And uh, it's a really good transmission. I'm excited. It's a six speed. I think I said that already. Uh, it also came with the flywheel, came with the clutch, came with the master cylinder, came with the shifter. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's a really good deal. So the only thing about the transmission is, yes, it was cheaper, but it's also for an LT1 motor. Now, if you don't know, LT1s came on Camaros and Corvettes before the LS1, and the T56 for that is slightly different. The input shaft's different, and um, I will have to do some modifications to it, but it should be like 200 bucks. It should be pretty cheap. So the, 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 the rest of the transmission should bolt right up to my motor, no problem. So that's enough talking. I'm gonna dive into this motor, start taking things apart, and uh, cleaning it up, and getting ready to break it down. I'm so excited to finally start an LS build. Okay, I really need to give you guys an update. I'm gonna turn off the AC. Hopefully it's not too loud. I apologize if the audio is crappy. I'll try to talk over it. Um, I made a lot of progress on the motor and I didn't really film much. Time lapse it, you guys saw a little time lapse. But let me show you what I did so far. <laughs> so I took the heads off. <laughs> Already taken the heads apart. Um, here are the heads. Exhaust manifolds, valve covers, coil packs, and that, that stuff's been there. But uh, yeah, um, first things first, uh, I guess let me show you the cylinder walls. Sorry if I'm shaking around the camera so much. Uh, they are beautiful. This motor apparently has 140K on it. I don't know if that's true, but the cylinder walls are gorgeous. Like not a single imperfection on the whole thing. I don't know if you can tell, but absolutely gorgeous. The pistons look good, no, no holes in them, which is good. I believe these are the 5.3 pistons. Now, the 5.3 and 4.8, the only way to tell the difference is by the piston, and I think that symbol, I believe, is the 5.3. Someone can comment below and correct me. I'm almost positive, though, it's a 5.3. Um, tips for taking apart a motor. This is my first V8 I've ever taken apart. Again, you guys saw this with the Miata build. Stay super organized. I have the rockers labeled from back to front, passenger side to driver side, uh, front to back, keeping them in order. These are the push rods. These are all my bags of bolts I've taken off so far. 
Just trying to stay super, super organized so nothing gets lost. And I remember how it goes back together. Like this bolt. I don't know where this goes. Fuck. So, yeah, this is the second motor I've ever, or will be the second motor I've ever built. Um, I started with the Miata motor. It was very simple. Miata motors are very easy. Uh, there's no, like, overhead push rods, like on a V8. Um, there's du dual overhead cams, which are very simple. But, uh, yeah, so far this motor's been fairly easy. Nothing's been too hard on it. Um, I'm just making... Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, I'm just making sure I take lots of pictures so I know where it all goes back together. I wish I was filming a really detailed breakdown for you guys and so I can go back and watch it when I put this back together. But uh, so far, I'm very, very happy with the motor. It doesn't look too bad or bad at all. I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, I need to pull the oil pan off and get the crank out and see what the crank looks like in the bearings. Because I'm already planning on replacing the bearings, but I want to see how the crank is. If the crank's torn up or shot, that could mean multiple things. I could, I don't know, maybe go a whole new rotating assembly. I don't want to because pistons and rods are so expensive for V8. You gotta buy eight of them. The Miata, it was like $1,000 for rods and pistons. And I don't need to upgrade the rods and pistons on this motor. The iron blocks are super strong to begin with. Hey, what's going on guys? Real quick, I just want to splice in the middle of this video, give you guys a quick update on the motor because I've worked on it more since I filmed this video. And then I'll let back um, Kyle covered in grease talk and finish closing out this video so let me just give you an update okay so super quick i want to recap um got all the basically almost engine completely taken apart i got all the pistons out and um i think you guys saw last video the cylinder walls are perfect <laughs> absolutely perfect for 140k i would say this block probably has maybe like 20,000 miles on it it looks so good so um, that's a good sign. That's good. I gotta finish taking it apart. Um, I got all the accessories off. They are over here somewhere. Um, I need to finish still stripping it down. I need to pull the crank. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get that off. I need to get a bigger socket. And um, yeah, and then the block will get, be ready to go to the machine shop hopefully this week to get it cleaned. I need to clean the heads. That's You guys saw that. Uh, nothing new there. Um, this drawer is extremely full. It's got a lot of parts in here. Hopefully everything's well organized. I, I said this already once in this video, but always label your bolts. Here is my T56. I didn't show it earlier. Um, like I said, nothing special. It's a fancy T56 six speed. So pretty happy about that. Um, here are all the pistons. Uh, I need to check and make sure if these are gen three or gen four pistons. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be gen three, but they look really, really good. No wear or tear on them, no scorching. Uh, the bearings look perfect. The bearings are so good that I would throw them back in the motor right now. I'm not going to. I'm going to buy new bearings. But i um, really, really happy with how the pistons and bearings look in the crank. And uh, oh yeah, here's all my accessories, oil pans off. Everything's good to go, ready to be cleaned. And yeah, it's been good enough for the update. And back to um, previous past Kyle closing out this video. So I think I'm gonna stop here for tonight. Um, this is probably gonna be a multiple day video. I'm not sure, we'll see depending on how long it is. But um, I'm probably gonna stop here and clean up and just organize the whole garage because it's gonna be a couple it's gonna be a couple months probably, a couple weeks at least, a couple weeks before I put it back together. I need to get the block stripped down, go to the machine shop, get it hot tanked, maybe get it rehoned. Um, and then you get the heads cleaned. I gotta clean the heads. I gotta clean everything. Everything's super dirty. Rust, not rust, but like old buildup of years of coolant, oil all over the place. And um, I still need to pull off all the accessories off the front of the motor. The, all the uh, pulleys are still on. The, I think it was a power steering maybe. I don't even know what that is over there. I need to pull the whole accessories off. So it's a lot. It's definitely taking time, but it's late tonight. And I'm gonna stop here. That should probably end the video, honestly. It's probably not a super long video. But I want to know what you guys think about the LS build. I'm super excited. I, the LS is literally my favorite motor of all the motors made. It's my favorite motor. And I want to swap it into something cool. Um, definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't say something crazy that's never going get, to get done. Like I'm not going to LS swap a camera or something stupid or like a bug. Um, my options, what I've been thinking of is either either go cheap, cheap, cheap LS swap drift car, like dirt cheap. Because Miata is not really a super good drift car. And it's like my baby. I kind of don't want to like like break it <laughs> or I might go extreme crazy build turbo LS nitrous LS drag car 10 seconds like fucking super fast car I don't know yet or I might build I might build a truck I don't know maybe go fast truck so I'm thinking in my mind I'm thinking FC arc 7 s chassis like a 240 or something 
Uh, maybe a 350Z, maybe a BMW, probably not. I don't like either of those. Uh, could be S10. Um, I would love to do a Chevelle or a Nova. That'd be nice, go old school muscle, because I like muscle cars, because like, I, I am a muscle guy. I just built the Miata because it was cheap. I don't know, there's a lot going on. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm not sure what shell I'm gonna pick, and it's so far away, because I wanna get the motor fully complete before I buy another car to put it in. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, comment below. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything about the build. Let me know if you want me to go into more detail. I can. I can make way more detailed videos on the motor, taking it apart and cleaning it, if you guys wanna see that. But um, let me know what you guys think I should put it in. I don't know. I got T56 and an LS, and no car. And don't say the Miata, please. I'm not putting an LS in the Miata. Taylor's doing that, and I keep telling him it's going to be very expensive, even with his YouTube hookup, but he thinks he can do it for cheap, so we'll see how much it costs him when he does it. But that's enough of me talking, enough of me rambling. I wish I showed more. It's just my garage is really loud, and hopefully this audio is not terrible. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to call it a night. I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.